Welcome to another Smoke and Mirrors unboxing video. Today we're going to be looking at Gelish Poly Gel. I purchased this trial kit at um, Nail, te uh, Nail Tech Event of the Smokies is what it was called and it was $62 for this kit right here. And I also purchased the Poly Tool was $19. I was happy to get it at the Nail Tech event of the Smokies because I could not find them where I live in Virginia. So we're just going to take a look at what comes in the kit today. Obviously I haven't tested it out so we'll have to do another video for that later. When I bought it I also received these how-to instructions. Um, this is more like a <laughs> kind of an ad more than instructions, but gives you an idea of all the different things that you can buy. So poly gel is not an acrylic, it's not a hard gel. Supposedly, it combines the best qualities of both acrylic and hard gel. From what I've seen online, this is a really cool product. So they do give you some instructions, but um, most people are raving about this. They say it has great um, play time, meaning that you can adjust, you can put it on the nail and adjust as much as you need to. And when you finally have it perfect, you can then cure it and you're good to go. So that sounds really great. Let's take a look at what's in here. This product is patent pending and with this kit they say you can do five full sets I believe. 50 nails. The design is really cool. Okay. So now I feel like a dummy because I bought the poly tool and it actually comes with something to slice. So, hmm. All right, that's okay. Really, really cool packaging. Okay, so this is the slip solution and you'll just keep this on your brush when you are working the product. This is not monomer. I believe they said that the name Slip Solution refers to like pottery or something. Um, so it gives the feel of like more of a craft than monomer would. Um, and then here is your natural clear poly gel which is great, that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want any of the French colors, I just wanted something where I could do overlays. So, you can see it's a pretty big bottle. Slip solution, I mean, looks like there's a ton of that. Four ounces of that, two ounces of the poly gel. Okay, so we'll put those right there. And let's take a closer look at this tool really quick. So you're supposed to squeeze out of this tube, slice using this, and roll it onto the nail. By the way, the color I have on tonight is um, me, my selfie, and I from the Jellish Summer Selfie Collection. And two of my nails are topped with glitter topper called All That Glitters Is Gold from the Jellish Trends Collection. So now we'll take a look at the poly tool. If I can get it open. Thank you. 
This says 10 oval. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, sweet. It has a brush. That is awesome. Because the only brush I had was my Pro 9 acrylic brush. So it's great to know that there is a brush in here that I know will work with a poly gel. So I'm going to just compare the two. The tool that was provided with the poly gel kit on the bottom is pretty stout. You can see it doesn't really bend when I try to flex it, but this multi-tool, that's kind of bendy. And it's much thinner, or it's about half as wide, I should say. Thinner this way, probably about maybe the tool that came with the kit was probably three times as thick. So, hmm. And let's just take a quick peek at the brush, and then we will be done if I can. Also in the box, you have to dig it out, but there is a key, what they call a key, and this you will place as your poly gel starts to get low in the tube, you would place this on the top of it to help you get more gel out of the bottom. Finally, in the box, I did find this instruction sheet for one color overlays. So it gives you a step-by-step -step instructions there. It's probably pretty similar to what's in here. You have your Natural clear, poly gel, you have your slip solution, you have your tool, and based on what I have seen now, I highly recommend buying the poly tool. This looks like it's going to be super useful. Please come back to Smoke and Mirrors in a couple weeks and look for my review video on the poly gel once I get a chance to try it out. Thanks.